Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand-year door starts here. Finally! I have a minute without Toesworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy! <gasps> Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Oh! Mail call. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I thought I, I thought I ever get a letter from Daisy. Anyway, I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <coughs> Now, let them, now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be far too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Beach. What do you know? It's true. There's a withered old map in, in here with the letter. Still hard to do that voice. Check it out.
not upon request, but on my own free will. Yo yo YouTubers, welcome to my 11th Let's Play, which is the sequel, Paper Mario The Thousand. Yeah, damn it! I had it the, I had it the first time. Anyway, my 11th Let's Play, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Ugh. You know, I, I imagine trying to get a good intro, but boom, I just, I screw it up. I just, I hate it when that happens. Anyway, we're starting with the prologue. A rogue's welcome. I love that music. That's probably why I used it for Fire Within Shadow. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Probably the first time we actually see see first person from Mario. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Why am I using the, the Luigi voice again? Meh. Oh well, Luigi's awesome. Which still makes me wish that there was a Mario game with Luigi as the star. And I don't mean Luigi's Mansion. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sort the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> One thing this game I've noticed is for, or at least is known for, is having hilarious paper-like moments. Uh, moments, yeah. So, briefly going over the controls of this game. A button, of course, is the jump, of course. B button, your hammer. You automatically start with it, unlike the first game. But why we're back to this one, I don't know. Uh, he must have he gave Goompa the, the Ultra Hammer in the first game. Yeah. Anyway, the Z button brings up your stats on screen. HP is pretty much Mario's um, health. Flower points allows you to use special moves. We can't do that now. Star points, that's experience. Every 100, you can, you, you level up. And, and, of course, your money. You automatically start with 100 coins. That's nice. And with a D-pad on the GameCube controller. Pressing up allows you to go into gear, which is pretty much your items. Here we have a mailbox XP. The, uh, uh, SP, excuse me. This is mostly used for, like, um, other items and such. Down on the D-pad is a shortcut to the journal. Basically, you have, like, the map here and such. It's not really important right now, but it will be later. And just pressing Start button will be normally will bring you here. We see Mario's level, the rising star, we'll get to that later. And, you know, all that jazz. And as we have star pieces, we'll get... We'll be running into those in a little bit. And Shine Sprites. That's pretty peculiar, isn't it? We'll go, we'll go over Shine Sprites a lot later. Anyway, right here is a save block. Up... If you remember from the first game, you just press the button, you just jump on it, and you'll be able to save your progress. That easy. Sadly, there, there is no spin action in this game. So, yeah. No speedrunning tactics for a while. Or at all, in that, for that matter. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off of you, airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've, I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right? Now! Never. Ugh. Again, why do I bother reading? Uh, I'm sure later on in the game it becomes important, but I think I'm going to stay true to the first Paper Mario and just skip most of the text, because, like I said, I'm all action, I'm not talk. I just, I just want to play. Uh, thankfully, the B button allows you to quickly skip the text. Now we're going into battle already. And basically, this Goomba here is pretty much telling us how the battles work. Of course, we have no items here. Tactics here, you can just defend or run away, but we can't run right now. And of course, the jump. Um, unlike the first game, you automatically have the action command. First, I'll go with the hammers, since that's the easiest. Hold left on the control stick and listen when the star lights up. Like this. Now! 
All right. What I just did there, that was a guard. When the, when the enemy starts attacking, press the A button at the right moment to dodge an attack. Or pretty much guard against it. You won't be completely protected by it, you'll just take one point less damage. And the jump, just, pre just press A before stunning on an enemy to do a second attack. Nifty, ain't it? And that is called a Super Guard, an introduction, an introduction in this game. Um, it's a little bit trickier to pull off than a regular guard. Basically, you just press the B button instead. You take no damage, and you do an extra point of damage to the opponent. Now, that enemy was Lord Crump. He only has 5 HP and 1 attack, no defense, so... Um, sadly, those stats are not in the book, but... The guidebook, yes, of course, but that's no big deal. Buh! 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 That's what, I keep, that's what I keep imagining every time he says that. Buh! 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 What, what's he trying to do? Try and, get, try and get rid of a tickle in his throat? It's go time! Yeah. Hooey, this, sure this sure showed what the what the GameCube can do at this time. Well, sort of. And of course, we just easily slip away. Kind of funny, isn't it? So many of them, but we just run away. How pathetic is that? Uh -oh! Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Obviously, no. Ah, oh, crud, they bolted. Well, obviously. We'll get into more detail about those guys later. A, t a typical thanks. And I just skipped that, sadly. Sorry about that. Anyway, this is Goombella. Goombella is some kind of student at some kind of Goomba University and such. Eh. Well, yeah. She She's alright. Pretty much, pretty much the replacement of Goombario in this game. So you pretty much know where I'm going with that. So, if you're familiar with Goombario, you probably remember... You probably remember the title ability, right? Basically, that that means if you're not familiar, that means if bleh, with the tattle ability, you'll be able to know an enemy's stats and such like that. Well, in the first game, it wasn't required to because it wasn't recorded or anything. But in this game, it is. Um, I suppose while all this is going on, I should I should explain how this let's play is going to go. Um, this let's play won't exactly be a hundred percent. But I will be getting through a few things. First of all, I'll be trying to get through et try, try and tattle on every enemy we meet. So yeah, you'll find I'll be using Goombella a lot in this LP. Um, that'll pretty much fill out the tattle log, which automatically records any data we tattle on an enemy. So yeah, that is required. Um, I'll try to get all the badges, though I'm not too sure if I can or will at this point. Um, I have yet to 100% the game yet, but yeah. Anyway, I'll try to collect as many badges as I can, try to get all of them. Uh, I will find all the shine sprites, all the star pieces, or attempt to. And yeah, the, and taking care of a few other things too. In the meantime, that's really all I have to explain. Um, I don't know if I'll do exactly everything. I don't know if that even is everything. I'm sure there is. I bet, you know, come think of it. I bet that probably is everything. In any case, in case you haven't figured it out, Goombella is now our first member of the party. Now, like I said in the very beginning, um, the, mm, this I decided to do this game ahead of time, back when I was still recording um, Ocarina of Time. So, yeah. I actually had someone comment wanting me to do this game, now, I'm just letting you know right now, I'm not, I'm not, I, you know who you are. I am not doing this game because you wanted me to. I am doing this game because I want to. That's all there is to it. This is not upon request, this is of my own doing. Alright, so now we have Goombella on our side. Now, sure you just noticed, Goombella has her own HP now. 
that's something else in this game. Um, uh -uh. Now your partners have HP as well, so that's something to keep in mind, though. Over here we have ourselves another star piece. Keep that in mind, because we will... Because, yeah, there, there are automatically four star pieces available to us, so keep it... So, yeah, I'll be showing you where to find them as we go along. Now, th now this toad here. I forget her name, actually. Yeah, that actually is a woman. How? I don't know. Kind of looks like kind of looks like a George Washington toad. I may as well call her Georgette Wa Washington toad. <laughs> Georgette Washington toad. Yeah, that's your name. And I meant to move and not use the hammer. But I guess that but I guess that makes sense. In case she lost her contact lenses, and well. We kind of have to move to go on, so we so no matter which direction we go, we squish them. And because of this, we can't get pa we can't do we can't yeah we can't get through to that side of town. There. Yeah, my throat's a little dry. That's probably what's going on. Yeah, I feel a sneeze coming. In any case, this is the shop. Here you can buy various items and such. Amazing with your money. Mushrooms that restores 5 HP. Honey syrup, 5 FP. Tasty tonic that cures poison and other stuff. We will go over that later. Classic fire flower, burns all enemies, does 3 damage each. Sleepy sheep, a useless item, I personally think. Um, if it works, it'll put enemies to sleep for a little while. And another, another item I don't use, the fright mask. Um, this usually works on regular battles. Um, you pretty much scare the enemies away. Though I think, unlike, unlike the last game, it'll still give you star points, so, yeah. In any case, after you squish the contact lens, talk to this toad. He'll check with, it, he'll check with his bro, apparently, or his twin, or whatever. His clone, apparently. And apparently he does not have any, not have any contact lenses, but don't worry, he'll get some. So going in here, here we have the inn, or one of the inns. Really, the inn is all the way up here. You talk to that toad over there, and you can actually heal yourself for a cost of money. Yeah, sad but true. Over here is the... Wait, what? Okay, I guess I'll go over the spot later. Anyway, waltz on over here for our second star piece. Nice twirl around the world, huh? Alright, so... Hmm, 18 minutes. That seems kind of long for a first episode. So, tell you what. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm pretty much safe here and call it quits for today, everybody. So, next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, or I'll probably just say Thousand Year Door to be to shorten it up. Yeah. We're gonna explore Rogueport a little more, find a, find a couple more star pieces we can possibly get, and, and find this Professor Fl uh, Frankly, she said? He was either Frankly or or Flankly. I think Frankly's right. Yeah. So, until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave, and I sure hope you enjoy this LP. Though, seeing this is a very popular game, I'm sure you will. <laughs>